Okay, today we're going to show you how to program the DRV80 Generation 1 digital mixing valve from Armstrong. The first thing you're going to need to do is have this package here because this package here gives you the infrared device, the cable, and the driver for the cable. This little mini disc holds the driver for the cable, so you'll have to load that up as well on your laptop. The other thing you're going to need is the Rata DRV80 software which is shown there on the screen. If you don't actually have that, you can download that from the armstronginternational.com website. Here we are at the website, armstronginternational.com. I'm going to go over here and click on products and services. Then I'm going to go to water temperature controls. And I'm going to go down to Water Temperature Control Recirculation Systems Digital. Then I'm going to have to scroll down a bit to where it says the brain, model DRV80. Any of them will do, it doesn't matter which one. Then once again, scroll down to our Download Center. Download Center. Click on Programming Software. There's two programs in there. The one we need for today is the DRV80 Legacy, because that's for the Generation 1. Now if you're using Internet Explorer, this may give you problems. We recommend using Firefox. Click on that, then save the file. It'll save as a zip file. I'll have to unzip it and load it. Okay, once you have that, then we'll come back over here and show you how to change the temperature on your valve. For best results, we recommend holding it up right here, tight to the display. And if you want to change the set point, you can come in here, change it to, let's say, 130. To, to do any kind of programming, you have to have the valve off. So we'll toggle it off right there. That'll take a, a minute. You hear the valve turning off right now and going off. Okay, now we're going to hit set and we'll set the set point. Now, it's always best to change your default value as well. That way, if you lose power, the valve will default back to your new set point of 130. So we'll change that. And then we we'll just hit right because we already have the valve off. As soon as it's done. Now we'll turn the valve back on. We should have our new set point. There we go. Got your new set point of 130. Uh, common other changes you might make is you might change your alarm settings here, uh, which basically these numbers are the number of degrees above or below your set point. And that would just give you a, a would flash an alarm, like it says here. If it's if it's a low temperature, it'll flash temp low. If it's a high temperature, it'll flash temp high. Uh, another change you might make is your air temperature. This is the maximum temperature you're gonna let the valve see uh, in degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have it at 167, if the temperature ha manages to go up to 167 Fahrenheit, the valve will shut off automatically and go to full cold. So those would be the common changes you might make on your DRV-80 Generation 1 Armstrong Mixing Valve.